relationships and the trust that is either present or not present in couples' relationships. Um, it's how people react to various situations, infidelity, the loss of someone, um, and the loss of passion in a marriage. The place, it's one of the most interesting plays I've ever come across. It's about a lot of different things. It, it's presented, it's written as a, as a jigsaw puzzle uh, with several scenes and essentially it's comparing the complexities of couples as how they manage to get over some of life's difficulties and how sometimes they don't. I think state is plays a big part in this play, and you see the differences between um, the different couples. The, you know, who are the confident, dominant ones, who are the quite sort of submissive sort of uh, characters, and how they intertwine in the in the different scenes. But it is very character driven. Um, and what's very interesting is the different characters in the different parts, because it's set in three different parts. And although the characters aren't sort of appear throughout the play. As an audience member, you can see how the different lives are intertwined between the different characters. I've got this pain in my chest. chest. How are you? Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? I'm all right. I'm all right. The clever part about the play is you think that they are all completely separate, but actually most of the couples overlap in some form or another throughout the play. There is, there is a thread. And if you listen carefully, you, you pick up the thread. I first came across the story of this when I saw the film Lantana. And as I often do, if I think a film could be a, a great play, I, I try to find out what it's based on. Very often it's a book, but in this case it was based on a play called Speaking in Tongues. And in fact the screenplay of the, of the, of the film was uh, written by the, the author of Speaking in Tongues. Um, and it was uh, very highly thought of. And so I ordered the copy of the play, and um, it's written in a completely different fashion. The, the film is very linear, it tells the story quite from beginning to end, whereas the play tells it in uh, a mosaic of, of, of scenes. Yeah, it's an interesting, the rehearsal process has been very interesting because uh, we haven't met, I mean I'm in Act 1 and the Act 3, but we've rehearsed very separately, so the, the actors from Act 1 haven't worked with the X Back 2 on any night, so it's been quite interesting. I think it's only about two weeks before the show and we're actually getting together. Uh, so for the director it's been quite a challenge as well because there's a lot of different scenes and but because the actors aren't in the whole play, you have to really think about what happens in the parts you're not in. It's been rehearsed as almost like two separate plays. Because there's only one character that's in both halves of the play. Um, and so we're quite excited at this later stage of rehearsal because we're going to see each other. <laughs> so we're going to see the first act and they're going to see us. Um, but, so it's, it's felt a very sort of strange detachment in some ways because you've thought, no, it, it hasn't felt like a, a whole, um, but it will from now on. Look at me. What do you see? A woman of middle age. Yes. A woman of some accomplishment. A woman at the height of her potential. Not her beauty. She was once more beautiful. I was once more beautiful. I've begun to age. I feel right about that. What can people take away from, from the reading? I think they will be thinking a lot and, uh, about uh, um, possibly about their own relationships. Uh, there will be a lot of echoes of their own thoughts, often unsaid thoughts. That the play does tend to touch on quite a lot of things that people perhaps think about but, but don't say out loud. Um, I think they will come away feeling that they're glad they've seen the play. Um, they won't come away laughing or anything like that, but I think they'll be thinking and they'll be quite intrigued and they might want to come and see it again. <laughs> Dejando arena en el silencio Te busco perdida entre sueños